It's Strange is directed by Adam Levine, not the guy from Iron 5, and it's a British horror movie about a woman that had a car accident and lost a major part of her memory, and she decided with her boyfriend to go back to her older house, the house that, that, that she left for years now, and she decided to go back and heal herself and really rest there with her boyfriend. And slowly but surely, she started to feel that something wrong and things are not how they seem there. I didn't know anything about this movie. I didn't know the plot. I didn't see the, the trailer to the movie. I uh, saw that on my VOD. And I think it's for the best because I love this movie. This movie is actually really original some part. It's very psychological and remind me a lot something that Roman Polanski would have done in uh, the 70s. Movies like The Tenant and Rosemary Babies, especially Rosemary's Babies. One of the major themes in this movie is paranoia. And because of, of, her, of her memory loss, she doesn't know if her species is right or wrong. And so is we, because we see the movie from her point of view. So we start to become paranoid. And the creepy family, together with her memory lust, create great tension and a lot of very good suspense. The acting in this movie is very good. The main actress, I don't know her name, she's done a very good job. She go to the lowest of the low, really to the cesspool of the human being in this movie and we see her character erode. She's done a very good job conveying those emotions, this depression, suspicion, hate. All of these emotions were made very convincing acting, very good. The brother in this movie didn't work for me all the time. Sometimes he, he pulled it off, sometimes he didn't. The other family members very creepy, liked them a lot, very good job, very good acting. In general, this is a well acted movie with a very good script. The more we go in this movie, the movie becomes darker and every act in this movie feel more grim and more depressive. And I said that as a good thing, because if the movie will sustained at, a very, at, at one point throughout the movie it will become monotonic but the script did a great job every act is more darker more violent filled with more tension between the character so the movie managed to keep its tone throughout the movie the movie in regards to its budgets directed very well I can see if Mike Flanagan or James Wan would have taken this project, it would be more intense and, may, and maybe look a little better, but in general it's a well directed movie. There is wide use of handled cameras, but it's not overused like in movie Backcountry. The director decided to use handled camera, but he doesn't overshow it. Also there is a lot of use with practical light, um, with major use with just the sunlight contribute a lot to the movie the movie look greedier a lot more grounded a lot more uh, disturbing and creepy but there are scenes that can be used with some more cinematic light my main issue in this movie is its last scene um, not how it's done but how the movie conclude the, there's a scene that filled with exposition that gave me the feeling that the writer didn't know how to end the story and we answer on all the questions that the viewer had through the movie. So that exposition scene just, just bugged me a little. Another issue I had with this movie is the boyfriend character. I find this character very dull and uh, shallow. It just feels like a plot device or throwaway boyfriend, which he kind of is. He just disappear in the first act of this movie. Just didn't find him really interesting. 
we didn't contribute anything to the plot and I can see a rippling value overall I really enjoyed this movie it's a well acted movie, it's a well directed movie and in regards to its budget they managed to make a lot and get a lot besides of this one scene it's a well written movie it's very dark, very grim uh, definitely check it out if you like indie horror movie and you want something different from the Hollywood horror movies that Hollywood gives us I will give a strange a 7 so guys what is your favorite British horror movie? comment down below like, subscribe to my channel see you next time